part two of the Splash Drone 4 video from a setup perspective. Um, remote IDs. You cannot mount a remote ID up here or up here or on here or back here. Um, <laughs> when I tried mounting it here, it created a lot of interference and we crashed into the lake. So what I've devised and this has been my go-to so far is that I'll turn my remote ID on see the, the LEDs, put it in a little Ziploc as a first barrier, put it in this little um, camera go-to bag as a second line of defense. like that and then make sure the air is out and then what I've been doing is zip tying it to a leg here because you can't have this flapping up into the propellers so I got my ID on what ID been I've done this about five times now it seems to work okay and I can uh, get the bottle out okay so that's what I've been doing for a remote ID you got to keep it away from the antenna you can't mount it anywhere up here and of course this thing only this only floats up to about here so there's really no surface per se at least for that GP uh, that remote ID um, to work second of all from a battery perspective very important that when you remove the battery and you go to put it on the charger that um, you have to turn the remote you have to turn the battery on for it to charge you can't just attach it to the um, charging port you have to actually turn the battery on so that's very important to know because if you just slap it on there and leave then it's not going to charge you go to get it. Second of all, this cable for the controller is very specific. It's a USB to this little round barrel and that goes right back here. So you cannot lose that little cable because it's very unique. You're not going to be able to find it in a store or anything. So and that's how you charge up your uh, remote ID. I, sh I should say your, your flight controller. Um, and that's about it. Those are the things I want to show you from the remote ID, battery you have to turn on, and the, to charge your flight controller, it's uh, this little cable. Also, oh, one more thing, the SD Fly app, when you connect initially the passcode, um, when you connect via Wi-Fi to the drone to run your app, the it's going to ask you for a password. That password is 12345678. So it's very easy to remember. It's in your manual as well. Um, you have to do that the first time to be able to get your fly app screen. So other than that, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a shout.